Hello, Christian Livingstone here, and uh, it's still winter time, and you know, most of my projects are, are done outside in the warmer weather, but uh, you know, with the cold weather, I, I'm doing a couple of indoor projects, but uh, I want to upload something to my YouTube channel, and so it occurred to me that uh, oftentimes I'll uh, interact with people, encounter people, shopping, or doing other stuff on the electric hand cycle, and I'll get questions, and uh, you know, you can probably guess what some of the questions are, but uh, you know, uh, if you've seen some of my YouTube channel uh, videos, you'll know that this uh, elect uh, electric hand cycle that I developed, I installed a, uh, uh, a video camera up top, and it automatically starts whenever I energize the thing, and uh, you know, I'm almost unconscious of it being there, and uh, but it, it records... Uh, on a, uh, a micro SD card that I believe, uh, if I recall correctly, it's 64 gigabytes. So I can go back for about the last two weeks and, and capture any interaction that it has, uh, you know, been focused at. And uh, it has audio too. And so uh, it occurred to me that there was a couple of interactions within the last week or two that uh, I think are worth uh, recording and uploading. I may just do a segment, uh, you know, occasionally from here on out, uh, uh, called uh, "Questions People Ask Me," and uh, so this will be the lead into that. And uh, you know, of course, you know that uh, this electric hand cycle, when I roll into the supermarket and stuff, will evoke questions and curiosity. A cup I use to froth up the milk. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like to lug up a big gallon just to put a little squirt in there so these are great yeah yeah that settles it I'm getting to how long have you been paralyzed who said I was paralyzed are you paralyzed no oh you're not paralyzed no I thought you paralyzed this whole time no you walk by me? my lips are moving oh, well, I'm not paralyzed well, my uncle's paralyzed when you say paralyzed you suggest that a person has no movement yeah you have movement see if you say uh, uh, He's paralyzed. I, I so he moves just like paraplegic. No, there's quadriplegic and yeah. there's paraplegic. He's paraplegic then. Okay. So that's the waist down. This is waist down, yeah. Right. So when you say paralyzed, that's global. That's like saying he can't Everything, move. Yeah. yeah. And I even take it further, saying you can't even move your lips if you're para, you know, yeah. paralyzed. But uh, no. He races. A, he's a pretty amazing guy. He races go karts and everything else. He's just right. He's on it, man. Yeah, you know, I do have things in common with a, uh, a, a paraplegic uh, label person, I, I suppose, yeah. in that my lower ambulation uh, is uh, not not what it used to be. It's yeah. not because of any uh, spinal injury or anything, but uh, my legs were severed, uh, both of them, slightly above the knee. Oh, really? Yeah. That's not good. So I no no it's it's not the worst thing. I'd, no. ra I'd rather have my hands. Absolutely, mm -hmm. I agree. I agree with you a sure. thousand percent sure. with that as well. But uh, you know, of course, I'm wearing uh, prosthetics, and as you can see, there's a couple of canes in the back here, so I can get upright and walk like a little old lady or a little old man. But yeah. you know, it takes a lot more energy, so you know, I'm kind of lazy. So I built this crazy contraption, and it's beautiful. you should get patent on this, man. No, there's nothing original to it. But yeah, yeah I you know drive a car as well, and you know, have a riding lawnmower, so, you know, I, I still have a lot of mobility. I'm slowed down in some areas, but yeah. uh, I use these a lot, man. Yeah. How long ago did you lose your legs? Has it been a while? Yeah, it's over a dozen years. Oh, okay. Yeah. A long time ago. But yeah, you know, it could be worse. I could have lost my hair, you know. <laughs> I'm losing my hair, brother. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, shoot. What is it? Man, that is so, like, cool. Well, thank you. So do you have a place to rest your feet? I don't, I don't need to. You don't need to? Okay. Uh, I don't do any pedaling down there. I do hand cranking, but, you know, you can see it's electric, too, so, yeah. you know. But I still, it's... Yeah, and it's fast too. It's about 25 miles an hour. Oh, it 
Huh? Oh, I bet that's expensive. Huh? I bet that's expensive. I built it. Did you really? I sure did. Honest to God. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's so cool. I love that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you uh, have the internet? Yeah, I do. Um, uh, oh, you, you got writing, the writing paper. <laughs> I got pens. Okay, now nah, you don't need it. This is a video camera up top here. Oh my God. So I've taken video of me riding around. Even, uh, uh, see, the motor is installed into the hub of the wheel. Yeah. And I installed a second hub motor onto the other wheel because I wanted to see if I could make this go in snow. Yeah. And I just did that recently, and it's on the video. <laughs> <laughs> Because last year I tried it and it didn't work so well. That's the uh, YouTube channel right there. Okay, all right. So okay. that'll that'll get you to that. And that's the most recent video of the uh, I just think that's so snow cycle. Oh yeah, you'll really see it in action there on the video. My name's Christian and I've got a bunch of videos on there yeah. about little projects that I do. So, yeah. you know, sometimes when somebody shows an interest, you know, I, I'll... Well, I saw you come in, but it just got a glimpse, and when you went by, and I thought, and then I didn't think about it, and I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. Right. Yeah, that's just like, oh, yeah. But, you know, for whatever you are uh, have going on, there are, you know, aftermarket scooters you can yeah. get off the shelf that are pretty spippy. Right, yeah, yeah, cars cars are impersonal, you know, yeah, are. when you're yeah. moving. They, I'm not saying they're depersonalizing, but they can be. You know, yeah. people sometimes get arrogant yeah. in a car. Yeah. Not everybody, but, uh, you know, and walking's certainly more personal, but sometimes it's too personal, you know. Yeah. You got the dogs barking at you, and, you know, yeah. ooh, people think you're a stranger, but, you know, the bike or something like this does, you know, it... it, it, it prompts people to, to, to interaction, you know, which is nice. Because, uh, you know, I, I am usually assertive and outgoing. I don't even know who they are, you know. Right. But they're not accustomed to seeing somebody out going down the street. Sure. Like that. Sure. So I do. I, I like, you know, when I'm on this, it, it does. It, it changes things. And, you know, if, if I were in a wheelchair, they... Undoubtedly, yeah, a lot of people would, would be it's a poor little cripple boy, you yeah, know, a little bit a of... a whole different attitude. Right. Yeah, you get a different... Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I use the bicycle parts to, to make it a little more normative and, you know, a, kind of a curio. It's not like, oh, poor little cripple boy, you know. Yeah. It's more like, what the heck is that, you know? <laughs> So it does. You'll see. You'll see videos if you've got nothing else to do and go poking around. You'll see all kinds of kooky oh, stuff. Oh, well, okay. Thank you very much. It's nice talking. Okay. My name's Nita. Nita. Yeah. N e t a. N i t a. Oh, Nita. Nita. Yeah. Juanita. Oh, short for yeah. Juanita. Got it. Yeah. Okay, Juanita. Nice talking. Do some grilling, huh? Yes. All right. Did you find any meat on sale? I, I looked at uh, for T bones, but they're still priced pretty high. I saw some really big ribeyes. They were like 15 bucks, but they look like they would have been big enough for two. They have uh, ribs on sale for $2.99. Is that what you're going to do? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Eight bucks, nine bucks. All right. All of us. I don't know anybody that don't like a rib. <laughs> right. <laughs> the salad and veggies will counterbalance how bad it is. Right? Oh, you, what do you mean? More healthful right, or something? Right. Okay, okay. <laughs> ribs aren't good for you. Oh, you guilty about eating some ribs, huh? I do, but I'll eat them. I'm a power 
you know, they're discovering that some of the stuff that was thought to be bad is not bad, really. Really? Oh, yeah, like coffee, butter. Right, sure. Meat. They're talking about the paleo diet yeah. now. Go ahead and don't worry about, uh, you know, fatty stuff. Right, right. Well, my belly says otherwise. I know, I know. Well, you know, it's it's bread that does that. I know. So not only that, the electric hand cycle itself uh, evokes uh, uh, feedback, but uh, also the uh, uh, license plate I put on the back. It's you know one of a, an ecclesiastical nature, and uh, that tends to evoke uh, interest from people, curiosity from people, and it, you know it. it uh, the heading is uh, Christ's kingdom, and it's a quote out of the uh, Great Commission where Christ said. All authority is given unto me in heaven and on earth. And the authority uh, term there is uh, polituma from the Greek. And, uh, you know, it's the same word used in uh, Romans 13. So, you know, Christ has all that legitimate political authority. And, uh, you know, he said uh, earlier at uh, oh, Luke 17, I believe it was, where uh, he talks about the state being shaken down and scanned in that, uh, you know, he, he characterizes it very well. It wasn't really a, a great revelation, but apparently his disciples needed to hear it from him himself. And he said that the, uh, <clears throat> the kings of the Gentiles exercised lordship over them, and they that exercise lordship uh, are called benefactors but it shall not be so among you. And so, you know, that's where the state does get its authority it, it, from dominance, from force and violence. And, uh, you know, they can be called benefactors, but it's a fraudulent claim. The state is not, you know, here to make your life better. They're here to extort from you and set you out to, to kill in, you know, some other state organization that uh, probably did nothing to you, but, you know, that's the way the world works, and I think the Christian church has been captured into that statist idolatry. And so the, the plate down there kind of implies and, and uh, suggests as much, and, and it does. It tends to cause, you know, these state-incorporated churchgoers to say, hey, what's, what's that about? So... <laughs> Hey guy, I'm glad you're here. I have uh, another project and I thought I might catch you if you were here and you are because I brought you something. 
I burned a, a quick copy of uh, the White Stripes uh, uh, live performance of, uh, I don't know where it was shot, I think it was shot in Europe because it was in a PAL European format, but okay. anyway, it's, it's not long, it's one of the songs they did somewhere, and it's, uh, it's a cover, uh, Sun, uh, Sun House cover, an old song from like the 20s, you know, oh, it's one okay. of these Delta Blues, and and it just, it, it'll blow you away. The performance will blow you away, I'm sure. And uh, cool. it, like it did me. It's just, it's one of the most brilliant rock performances I've ever seen. Huh. I oh, mean, really. Looking forward to that. Really. Cool. And uh, I think what he's doing there is he's really being artistic and hearkening back to those Delta Blues. And that's where rock came from, you know? They took those old songs and picked up the tempo and rock and roll was born, you know? And he's going back and doing it again. Grinning in your face Don't mind People grinning 
and your face Your mother will talk about you Your sister and your brothers too No matter how you try to live They're gonna talk about you still So don't you mind people grinning in your face Don't you mind people grinning in your face They'll knock you up and down They'll tread you all around and round And as soon as your back is turned They'll be trying to put you down So don't you mind people grinning in your face Don't you mind people grinning in your face droopy song you know about death letter I, you know negroes back in those days you know when i guess the men were away working in a cotton field far away from home you know the wife maybe died you know nobody came until they got a death letter okay you know they didn't warrant somebody telling them they just got a letter oh your wife is dead oh, th thank you thank you thank you <laughs> Cool. Yeah. To it. Oh, yeah. I think I think uh, you'll agree that uh, that is one of the most brilliant rock performances in human history. Oh man, it's good. But I've got another project that involves clamps again. Yeah, yeah. Bigger, three and a half inches. Okay. Five of them. Half is the largest this one goes. That's you want enough. Extra? Okay. No, uh, smaller. Will it go down It'll to go about to two, two and a half? Two and a half to three and a half is what this is saying. Oh, perfect. Here. And then there was another one. It, it's uh, where or do you go to church? Yeah, yeah. Maybe I ought to get three of the three of each. Church. Yeah. I'm a Christian, but I'm not a big fan of state incorporated churches. Okay. You know, like 99.9% .9 of them are. <laughs> Most people do think of church as uh, a building, you know? Yeah. You know, that's kind of technically incorrect. Sure. Uh, 9.26 is the total. Is that all? That's all today. You get me later, huh? <laughs> <sighs> no, I know that you have to go to a place to have church. No, you can't, you, you can't even have church. There's no such thing. Church is the body. Ecclesia. It's the people. Actually, it's a, a term uh, from Greek, ecclesia. It's a political term. It's uh, what the Greeks and Romans used uh, as a, a governing body. Okay. Literally. It's a, a caucus, a senate, an assembly. See, assemblies of God kind of sure. got it right when, when they use that term. The assembly. How can the assembly go to assembly? But, you know, they meet somewhere, and, and it's, I don't know, convenient to call it something that people understand. Sure. I think uh, 
the word church uh, came from English through German, and uh, it really was kind of a distortion to get away from the idea that, uh, you know, the ecclesia is its own body, you know, and, you know, and the reason I have a problem with, uh, you know, state incorporated churches is because it all kind of goes together with that, you know, the body of the state. Yeah. The body of the state, and guess what? There's another body, the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't think they're supposed to be joined and mingled, but of course they are. You know, and a lot of uh, Americans and Christians talk about, you know, the, the great separation of church and state. You know, like, you know, the government understands that there is a separation of church and state. But why are they all state corporations? They, they wave that banner, you know, of Thomas Jefferson talking about the barrier and the separation between church and state. Why are they all state corporations? And if you know a little bit about corporations, you know that, you know, the state is the creator of its corporations. And if the state created all these state corporations, they control them. And in fact, they do. You know, the, the churches do get some benefits for, you know, being a state corporation. They're uh, immune from uh, property taxes, generally. And, uh, but does the body, are they immune? No, just the administrative organization called church, the state corporation. And uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, in their uh, articles of incorporation, they promise to be completely obedient to the state in all of its current and future laws without even knowing what they're going to be. <laughs> that's a cuckoo. Yeah. It's cuckoo. It's a conflict of interest. So that's what I, I, you know, that's the underlying problem I have with that stuff. Not that I, I you know, I'm hostile to, towards those people. <laughs> bye bye. What happens is, uh, you know, the places I go, the people I interact with and encounter in and, and stores and other places will, uh, you know, kind of be curious about the electric hand cycle. And, you know, I, I really like that uh, because, you know, it dissuades people from any tendency towards pity or, you know, distracts them, redirects them, minimizes the whole idea, you know, when they see someone in a wheelchair. So I rarely uh, have used a wheelchair out in public. You know, I have, but uh, rarely. And uh, in the past, in supermarkets and stuff, you know, I've got canes, I can get upright and push a cart, but still, you know, people are a little wary about that. And uh, so, you know, a few years ago when I developed this, I, I was really, you know, blown away and, and uh, surprised how much better than I even hoped it, it would turn out and how it evokes, you know, curiosity and conversation. <laughs> There's uh, two batteries down below. It's pretty discreet and uh, it helps act like a, a ballast, you know, keeps the uh, center uh, low. So a little bit better balance up top. But uh, yeah, uh, funny you ask, I just uh, put a second hub motor on, on the other rear wheel. So mm -hmm. I, I added a second battery. So I got dual rear drive on this now. And, uh, you know, it was just kind of a frivolous project to add that second one. Mm -hmm. but. Uh, the point was to uh, go in the snow, and this baby does. It goes in the snow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Hello. Hi. You're the you're the technician. No, they're oh. all out. Oh. So you got second team. 
No, that's okay. But I'm it's, a nice guy. Well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> what do we got going? I bought these uh, uh, tires here uh, the other day. Okay. And, uh, I have a jig that uh, just it bent up. It was too flimsy. These suckers are pretty tough going on. So okay. I'm wondering if you guys could install them. You undoubtedly have better equipment than I do for that yeah. kind of stuff. We can sure do that. But like I said, they're all out today. They're putting a stair lift No rush. In. No rush. So, no rush. Okay, let me get your name and everything. Sure. And we'll, we'll go from late this afternoon. I'll I don't give care. Give me a call in the morning as far as I don't care. Then they can get it back. Yeah. Right I'm it. curious. I've noticed you've got your handles going like this. I'm never like that or you have? No, nah, because turning that would be awkward and you get a better power stroke, you yeah. know, like a bench press. Okay, name? Christian. He's not talking much religious. Yes, I know. Okay. Livingstone. Livingstone. If you just want the phone number, I can give you that too. All right, yeah. I'll have him call you in the morning. And the area code is 620. The number is 314-7810. All right. And mouth some time. Sure. Yeah, I've uh, mounted uh, ones like this before. These are the easier ones. You know, these apparently uh, uh, are a lot stretchier than... The factory ones that are real okay. taut. Okay. Well, that's yeah. In the morning, because it shouldn't take them that long. I mean, they should be able to get it. Right. All morning, I guess. Beautiful. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. I do a lot of biking. I do a bike across Kansas, and every once in a while we see a trike. We Hand see cycle. Paraplegics doing it like that. Right. Usually right. they're more horizontal. Yeah, the uh, off-the-shelf uh, factory units do tend to be low slung, and to, to me, those are just like crazy dangerous. If you ever tried to yep. go out on the street, you know, somebody back over too. you, you know? And yeah, they have their a flag sticking up, but yeah. So that, you know, I, I do a little welding, and I developed this myself. And, uh, oh, thanks. But uh, I did. I was uh, real aware of that, that I wanted to be upright. I want to be, be able yeah, to see and have see. people see me as well. How do you lose your leg power? Uh, an industrial accident. Mm. I mean, as you can see, I've got a couple of canes here, so I can get upright. I'm not a... Uh, paraplegic but uh, my legs both of them were severed above the knee slightly Ooh, yeah. yeah railroad no mm. but it could have been worse I, I could have lost my hair <laughs> so those uh, I'm thinking are, are worth putting up as videos maybe together maybe individually and maybe an ongoing uh, series uh, I'll just do, you know, uh, questions people ask me, and then, you know, are you paralyzed? And then I'll have another one, do you go to church? And, uh, you know, whatever else they tend to ask me, and I capture, and it occurs to me that, yeah, that, that ought to be a good one. So that's what I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, since it's uh, chilly outside, I, I'm actually going to go down and get a breakfast burrito right now. But... Uh, my outdoor projects have been kind of reduced, and so that's that's an indoor project. I'll uh, mix up some video that's been captured. You know, I probably could have done it a hundred times before this time, but now it's just just occurring to me. And, you know, so that's what we'll do.